How's it going guys, Angus here from Makers Muse and in this video I'll be reviewing some PLA filaments sent to me by Rigid.ink. So Rigid Ink are a UK based filament supply company and they got in touch with me and asked if I was interested in reviewing some of their PLA filaments. Of course I said yes because well that's what I do here on Makers Muse. So I chose my Wanhao Duplicator i3 as a test machine, yes it's finally working again and I'll have a review on it soon. I then chose a range of test files to print. I thought this little fox, drawn by Ricardo Salomio, was particularly adorable, so I had to give him a go. So for slicing, I used Simplify 3D, which in my opinion is really the best slicer out there, no contest. And my settings were at 200 micron layer heights, with a 210 degree extruding temperature, and 60 degree bed temp, with a print speed of about 3000 millimeters per minute, which is pretty slow, but the one how, in my, at least my case, my one how can't really run any faster at the moment. I also turned support material on and print it with a raft because I find the duplicator i3 really benefits from a raft because the Z leveling is pretty inaccurate. But you'll learn more about that in the review that's coming up for it soon. So the little purple fox turned out awesome in my opinion. The filament has a really nice consistency and actually a quite a rich colour which you don't usually see from the really cheap filaments. And the raft came away very easily which is quite nice for PLA. I did however notice a fairly obvious extrusion error in its cheek. So I ran the test again with identical G-code with some white verbatim PLA, which I've reviewed before, and the same defect occurred. So it's actually pretty interesting to see how identical each print was, and that each little nub and seam was because of the G-code and the machine, rather than the actual filament. So yeah, this goes to show how consistent that uh, this rigid ink filament actually is. Then as a torture test, I proceeded to try to print my scan of Vanellope von Schweetz, from the iScan S 3D scanner. This mesh is huge, it's something like 150 megabytes in size, and Simplify 3D handled it like a champ. The overall print turned out pretty good, way better than my expectations, especially at a 200 micron layer height, which is fairly coarse for such a small detailed figurine. The supports printed well and were easy to remove, however, I neglected to double check the auto generated supports for her hair, so that area failed a little bit but that's kind of my fault because I didn't double check the G-code preview from Simplify 3D. If you're looking to try to print this on an up mini, I would recommend against it. PLA in general doesn't really work on the up minis, so even with a desk fan pointed into the chamber, uh, the print still jammed up uh, after only 10 minutes or so. So don't buy, if you, yeah, you don't buy an up mini to print PLA anyway, but just as a warning, you can't really print this filament on the up mini. I tried, it didn't work. Overall, I'm really impressed with the consistency and feel of Rigid Ink's filament. It worked just fine on the Wanhao, and I'm sure it prints even better on other machines that print PLA nicely, like the Flashforge Dreamer. The colours also look quite nice. They're not harsh, like primary reds, greens, and yellows that you often see from other suppliers, like eSun. They actually have really nice hues, a little bit like Colorfab's approach, but uh, a lot cheaper. I also have to say, Rigid Ink is one of the more clever 3D printing company names I've come across. Uh, I really appreciate them not using 3D in their name, like everyone else so props to you guys for not doing that so that's rigid ink pla if you're in the uk and printing with pla these guys are a safe bet a one kilo roll works out at about 25 pounds which is about 55 australian dollars at the moment i know the aussie dollar is terrible that puts it in the sort of premium price bracket not the cheap cheap stuff but also not as expensive as for example color fab and as a final note rigid ink got in touch to send me some pla filament to test but they haven't paid me anything for this review, so what you hear is my own personal opinion of the filament. So thanks for watching guys, leave a like if you enjoyed this video, and do please consider subscribing for more makery goodness here on Maker's Muse. Cheers!